Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali and this is my boyfriend Ryan and we have some really exciting news to share with you guys. Um, this has... Psych? Oh wait, I'll take that <laughs> <laughs> That's not even the right finger. That's, uh, I mean, the hand. We filmed this video like six weeks ago. And but then... someone... <laughs> so the files got corrupted, so... I had to wait till, you know, I saw Ryan again because we were long distance in college. I, got, I just graduated from UCF. He graduates from UGA on Friday, so it's a very exciting time and even more exciting things to come. So let's just get on into it. So our big announcement is where we are moving after college. And just our general post-grad plans. Yeah, we're gonna do a little t-shirt reveal here. I have the city that we're moving to on the back of my t-shirt. We are moving to... <laughs> Austin, Texas! Woo! Some of you guys have guessed it, and I don't know how. I feel like it's kind of like a random city. I feel, like, I feel like people she knows have like talked about it yeah. on social media, and you guys must follow her on everything. And, well, or know, I, so like, I don't know how you guys know. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're just good guessers. I yeah. talked about it actually in a vlog that we made. No, I did not. Maybe we might move there. I don't know. I don't think Did I talked you? about it ever, no, I don't think so. So yes, we are moving to Austin, Texas, and we'll explain why. So I feel like we were really set on just moving back home, moving back to uh, Georgia or Atlanta. And saving money. Yeah, saving money, living at our parents' house for like one to two years. I even mentioned it in a past Q&A what exactly our plans were. Um, so I'll insert that here just because it's like funny to look back yeah, on. Yeah, you think your plans are. Yeah, and then shit just changes. What are your future plans after college? Um, I don't know. What about you, homie? Um, I plan on being hired before I graduate, hopefully somewhere. Retweet. And then I'd like to live at home for about a year and save enough to the point where I can either have a down payment for our house, but also just have it in my bank account. Or I'm really kind of interested in investing money. I told her I wouldn't want to move. I went there until we had at least at least 30k in the bank. Yeah. So 60 combined total. <laughs> right, did that mean just in case? Like, what if you do want to buy a house? It's a good investment right now. The market's really good. Originally, you wanted to move to Buckhead yeah. and like one of the high rises there and yeah. find a job in the land of Buckhead area. Mm -hmm. So basically, I'd been on a big job search for a while, just trying to like flood the market with my resume, try to get any offers I can, mm -hmm. try to get hired before I graduated. And she'd actually mentioned like we should move to Austin. It's like so trendy. It's so cool. I'm like. How do you know? But I guess just from like Instagram, she had known this. I got an email from my advisor, basically from Oracle, saying that they were looking for people to uh, apply and interview. So I was like, I asked her like 100%, like if I apply and I get it, are we gonna move to Austin? She's like, yeah, 100%, we'll do it, definitely. And I never thought I'd actually get the job. I just applied just to get the experience for interviewing and experience just all around. And um, well, I ended up getting it. <laughs> and uh, so we kind of had to choose between the major offices for Oracle are Boston, Austin, Santa Monica, and Washington DC, so rest in Virginia area. And for like a short time, I guess I considered going to California and she just went off the rails with it <laughs> and like started like planning our whole life there. And I was like, I don't even know if I have a job yet at this point. Yeah, I was like so psyched when he said Santa Monica because like I knew it was his second choice, but there was like a point in time where I think um, a guy that works in Santa Monica interviewed him for one of yeah. his rounds. And so then he started like kind of like talking about it a little bit more. And I have family in Irvine, Rancho Cucamonga and just all over California. So I thought it would be really cool to be in California and plus I could not be away from my family, like all the way from Georgia to California. There's just no I way. I could. I think it'd be so cool. And California's the dream, and there's just so much to do there. And like, yeah, LA traffic's bad, but like, it's I don't super, know. Super, super expensive. Super expensive, and basically that's a major reason why we chose not to do the Santa Monica location. Um, because it was like really unrealistic for like two college grads to just up and move to California. Not that I'm saying that no one can do it because yeah, I know a have good handful it. of people who have done it and they're like living their best life but like I don't know I just think yeah, we, we could have afforded it but it would have been like a one bedroom yeah and we eat in every night yeah. and we don't really do anything other than go to the beach we like to do fun stuff we like spending money like yeah but here I could have like more disposable income rather than just 
be in a certain place, I think. Yeah. So, honestly, Austin's new and it's kind of like far enough away from home that we're still not close, but we get that adventure. Yeah. And it's a little cheaper. Yeah. It's still expensive, don't get me wrong. It's pretty expensive. <laughs> yeah. Right now, we're just going to answer some other questions um, that I have been asked in a previous like Instagram story Q&A post thing. First question is, what did you both major in? I majored in radio, television, broadcasting, journalist at UCF. And I was a marketing major at UGA and did the broad track instead of just, you can do professional selling or digital marketing. And I chose just to do general so I could get kind of both. The next question is, what do you think it's gonna be like living with each other? Because if you guys haven't watched our vlogs previous to this video, we were long distance. He went to UGA, like he just said, and I went to UCF in Florida so it was it was it was hard at times but it was definitely it was definitely it's nice, nice <laughs> you know <laughs> like I don't know it, it was nice to be able to do your own things and I know if I was like too close to him and like at the same college I feel like I'd just be around him way too much and I wouldn't be able to get like my stuff done um so I think that's gonna be the hardest part of living with each other is just going from like seeing each other maybe like three days out of one month to seeing each other every single day, almost 24 seven. I think it'll be fun. Like we both get to go to work hopefully. Yeah. And then we can see each other after work. So it's not like we have homework anymore really. Yeah. We don't have like projects to do and stuff like that. Yeah. So it'll be nice to have someone to hang out with. Pretty lonely. Yeah. <laughs> so going out of state for college, I didn't know anyone when I went to UCF. So I feel like it will definitely be a different experience actually knowing someone, having someone to like go on adventures with and go out to eat. So I feel like it may be a little bit of an easier process, um, but also I feel like college, you have so many people that are around your age and like in your classes and like it's easier to make friends in that way. So it's gonna be like bittersweet in well, every way, you know? Just to piggyback and answer another question, she already knows people there too. Yeah, a couple and of people. I heard like everyone in Austin is around our age, all young, kind of like professionals. Uh -huh. And everyone trying to have a good time, I think. So it won't be that hard to make friends, just I hope, yeah. <laughs> I think it'll be, like I had a networking event. I met a few people that I know are gonna work with me and they're pretty nice and you know, I'll probably just meet up with them when I get there. She knows people with the UCF. The next question is, are you flying or driving to the new city and are you taking your dog with you? So we are actually both driving our cars at the same time and I don't know, I feel like we won't take a U-Haul because I could fit everything in my car from college to Georgia. So I feel like I won't need one, but I feel like my parents are going to want to give me like a lot of stuff like kitchen stuff that they have lying around or like, you know, just random miscellaneous stuff that I might need. Um, but maybe you will think about shipping all of that stuff because I don't know if it's worth it to get a U-Haul. What do you think? I think my mom is going to come with us when we move. So she may drive a U-Haul with all of the miscellaneous in it. And um, she'll leave like way earlier than us because she drives really slow and in a U-Haul. <laughs> And but, yeah, I don't know. We're not, we're not flying. Once we get down there, we'll fly home. Yeah. But we won't. Yeah. Once we get down there, we have to drive our cars. Yeah, we need our cars down there. And yes, Sophie is coming. We're taking um, my dog, which is honestly technically <laughs> Ryan's dog, just because like Ryan and Sophie get along way better than me and Sophie <laughs> get along. Like I love Sophie, but she does not reciprocate the love towards me. But Ryan and her, like I swear, they're in love. I swear. <laughs> <She's> a good <laughs> girl. So yeah, we're taking Sophie down there and I'm excited because I've just heard like that Austin is a really dog friendly city. Um, so it should be fun. So the next question is what do you both do for work? And when I start for Oracle, I'll be a business development consultant. It's like the official name for it. So it's basically just kind of like generating sales leads and trying to get account executives new sales meetings and get them in the door at different companies. I actually don't have a job yet, but I'm actively searching for a job and please, please, please message me, email me if you guys have any connections in Austin in the media industry. Um, I'm looking to do like social media or content creation, videography, photography. I just have so many things that I could be doing. I don't really know exactly the title that I want to do. Um, so literally anything in that realm, if you guys know someone in Austin, please help me out because 
it's it's a it's a little harder than I thought honestly I really thought it wasn't gonna be this hard um, but I feel like it might be easier being in the state and looking because I feel like media jobs are more for immediate hire um, yeah. and I want to be hired like end of June maybe like early July so and I've been in college this whole time in Orlando Florida where like I can't even be interviewed in Austin you know so like I've been applying but I don't know it's not really working out for me so like I said please message me on Instagram or email me my email will be in the description bo box below um, add us on LinkedIn. yeah add us on LinkedIn um, always looking to connect with more people <laughs> okay the next one just says were you involved throughout college what is the difference if you're not so basically I really wasn't that involved throughout college my senior year, I joined AMA, it's the American Marketing Association, and that's kind of just to get you connected with other marketing professionals and people who are already in the industry it can get you kind of like inside, you know, tips and maybe job offers they are not posting online just to make connections. And um, I mean, I definitely recommend doing that and getting as much involved as you can, even though I didn't. Um, I definitely see how it benefited other people and going back, I kind of wish I would have done that. I was, I would say, really involved in college. Um, I was in Greek life. I was in a sorority. So sad to say I was, because that was literally just a week ago that I like become became an alum. Um, but yeah, so I was in Kappa Delta. I was the vice president of public relations for two years in my sorority, and I was very, very heavily involved with like social media, doing the photography for like every event. I did the recruitment video and the philanthropy video for like two years for my sorority and I was very heavily involved in Greek life. And then my last two years, I started getting involved with my college's social media team. So it was the UCF communications and marketing team that I was an intern for. Throughout all that, I've met so many cool people. Um, and like he said, it's just pretty much all about networking when you get involved um, in college. So, I mean, the more you get involved, the more connections you have, so. So now that I have graduated and Ryan's graduating on Friday, it's the perfect time to answer this question. What was the hardest thing about college? You can start. Uh, for me, I think like University of Georgia's business school, like Perry College of Business is really like kind of rigorous. And I think the workload for my pre-rec pre classes was really hard. As I got more into my major, I was more interested in it. So I think that it kind of eased up just because when it's something you like, it's not that bad. Um, but overall, the hardest part really is kind of managing your own time and making sure you meet the deadlines that you have for all these classes, have projects and have tests and stuff. So try to like allot your time like wisely. Try to like just really like make sure you meet your deadlines while you're learning along the way. Because mm -hmm. you can you can cram the last minute, but you won't retain any of that and you don't really get that much from it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think jobs aren't really looking to see if you like learn that much in college, but about the, the content, but more so how you became like professional and became an adult through it. Mm -hmm. So I think, yeah, the hardest part is just becoming an adult, really like managing your time, money, like relationships and whatnot. So going off what Ryan said, I think that the hardest part of college for me was time management because at first I had good time management, but I had to really perfect it and like, I don't know, I think I got a little insane because I would literally have my agenda to the like second like planned out. Yeah, when to breathe, when to pee, when it, to talk. It's a little insane, but that's kind of how my mind works. If it's not on my agenda for the day, like it's not happening and I forgot about it. The micromanager, of all micromanagers. <laughs> it does sound a little insane, but it really did help me out through college um, because I had so many different like jobs and Greek life and school and at first it was just kind of hard like organizing how am I going to remember everything that I need to do. Yeah, write everything down honestly, it helps so much. Yeah, even if it's in like your phone reminders. Or so that's a wrap on this video. I hope you guys are as excited as we are to move to Austin. Comment down below any video requests for like moving vlogs or like empty apartment tour, like anything like that um, because I have some on a list but I feel like I'm gonna forget some stuff so definitely if you guys have something specific you want comment down below and also if you guys have been to Austin because we have not been to Austin. Yeah, yeah. Need tips on where to eat, where to go, like, like what to do. Stuff, yeah. Literally where to anything. Live, even, like... Yes, where to live because 
that's something we didn't talk about. We don't have an apartment yet. Um, we're gonna go there around June 1st and start looking. So definitely help us out with some recommendations. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!